two of how to make your own custom curtain designs and title bar designs for your page rage layouts using Picasa. We're going to jump right back in and go to Picasa and make our title bar image. So we have this image here that we want to use. We want to make sure it's highlighted. Hit collage. Now you're going to have to enter another custom aspect ratio. Um, you'll see here we have one that's 100 by 1000 and that's what we're going to use for our title bar. Now ideally your title bar image would be 1018 by 75 but there are some limitations with the dimensions we're permitted to use in Picasso so we're just going to have to work with that. So we have this image here. Um, we're using our picture pile feature to make this particular collage because we want to make sure um, we have the image exactly as we want it. We could rotate it. We could rotate it if we wanted to shrink it down a bit. Um, we're actually going to use it just practically as is, like that. And once we have the image in place, um, we're going to save. You will notice that you can change the color um, of the background, but because the photo itself has a black background, it works best for us in this case to just use that. If you wanted to add a border to the image, you could, um, but we're just going to leave it without a border. We're going to hit Create Collage. Once the collage is created, we have all these tools that we can use to make some other edits. The one we're going to use is the text feature. We're going to add her name. And then we can move this around. We're just going to move it right up there and hit Apply. It's already saved. So once we have all of our images saved, what we're going to do is go to pagerage.com and start working on our layout. The only thing we're going to add color to today is our title bar. I'm going to hit next step. And so you'll see what the title bar looks like once we go ahead and get that uploaded. It's not quite the dimensions that we would want, but you'll see how we can fiddle with that. So here is our title bar. Um, it's a little too big as you can see, so we're just going to make it smaller and move it around until it's what we want it to be. And there we go. And then we're going to add our left curtain. Page rage layouts. So you can see we have a lot of layouts that we've been making. And left curtain. And that image is going to load. And then we're going to go back in and add our right curtain. And here we go. Right curtain. We've already labeled ours um, just for our own convenience, but they, they don't have to be labeled right curtain and left curtain and title bar. And there we have it. So we're going to hit next step. We're going to make our text white. Next step. We're almost done. We're just going to name our layout. And then save and publish. Once you hit save and publish, you'll be taken to a success page and it'll tell you that your layout has been loaded to your Facebook profile. If by chance you want to get this layout for yourself, you can go to dailyfacebooklayouts.com and it is the layout that was made yesterday. Here it is. And you would just click on the image and it'll load it to your profile. And that wraps it up. Um, stay tuned for one more installment where we're just going to go over some tips and tricks for using Picasa and making your designs a little bit more polished. But thanks for tuning in.